Hi guys. So for today's reading, we are going to be looking into what about you makes other people have to stop and do a double take? Why do people find you to be uh, mysterious or, or to spark their curiosity or to really just make them stop and go, wait, what? What makes people do a double take about you? So we have three piles here one two three and if you enjoyed the videos like this one where they're a little bit more about making you feel good about yourself and things like that like the attraction videos stuff like that if you type in my name and all about you i have all about you and the hashtags for all of them so it should pop up all of my readings that are like that because these ones are just fun ones that are all about you <clears throat> And if you enjoy this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment. It really does help my channel to grow. It gives a little bit of an energy exchange for the one I'm giving you. And also, if you really enjoy this channel, please feel free to donate through my PayPal or my Amazon wish list. Both links are down in the description box below as well. And I had to go in and take my dentures in to get them relined today so I am without them till tomorrow in case anybody's wondering why I sound a little bit different today that's why so let's get started with pile one for pile one what makes other people do a double take about you we have Sagittarius and Aquarius you could be those signs those could be the ones that question you the most on that front friendly and optimistic you are somebody who brings a lot of transformations into people's lives. It's like you make them stop and go, wait a minute, what? And it's because you have a different way of viewing the world around you. You are really open to believing things and open to exploring things. You're very curious and you love to uh, find new ways of looking at things or viewing things. You like to look at all the different perspectives of any situation. You're somebody who really has a high belief in yourself and in your spirituality or your religion. You're somebody who is quite magical in the way that you are capable of transforming yourself and others around you as well. And you're somebody who um, you really, really protect your own energy. It's like you can see what's coming, coming before it happens. You may be clairvoyant or claircognizant. Both of those things have a way of allowing you to know what's up without actually seeing what's up. You're somebody very stable and down to earth as well. You are very open-minded, very non-judgmental. Um, and you kind of don't mind allowing other people to have their own beliefs, their own thoughts about the way things work. But at the same time, you are very grounded and stable in your own way of thinking as well. Um, people can't steer you away from your um, own foundation of morals and what you feel is right or wrong, things like that. If everybody's doing it, you're not going to do it simply because everybody's doing it. You're still going to think about it and whether or not it resonates or matches or aligns with what you got going on. Be happy, be brave, be drug free. Um, you could also be somebody who has had to fight through addiction and has overcome that addiction, whether that be on people, drugs, food, alcohol doesn't matter you can have addiction to anything really and you may have had to fight a lot with an addiction of some sort and maybe um maybe your optimistic new way of approaching things is really something that makes people go wait what i i never i never even thought about things that way before i never thought of anything of the sort it's like you got this really um far out way of thinking that is just completely different from most of the people around you you are also somebody who is probably very much in the spotlight sagittarius and aquarius are both very much in the spotlight signs you are somebody that um a lot of people see and a lot of people know of and a lot of people hear about a lot of people you may even be somebody who's in the public eye in some way and when they actually get to meet you and see you for who you really are, it's like this moment of, wow, I never expected this person to be this way. We have, you are very intellectual. 
You love learning, reading, researching, and gaining any information you can. You love libraries and debates about the things that you are into. So you're somebody who really enjoys, you know what, you could be very pretty or very handsome or just sexy or charismatic or things like that. All the things that those people who really are good at talking to people and um, being in the spotlight, all those things, you are, yes. But you are not only those things. You are not only your looks. You are not only your... You may be very well known for your looks in some way. But you also have an intelligence to match. We also have... Bring creativity and passion into what you are doing. Allow yourself to dream big and believe big. Explore your inner being. Success will come as you accept and express yourself fully. So, express and accept yourself fully. Be yourself. Allow everybody to see all those faucets of you that are um, tucked away and hidden a bit more. Allow those things to come out and allow yourself to just be you. But... Your creativity and your passion is one of those things that make people go, oh my God, how does one person have so much creativity within them, so much passion within them, so much drive, and um, so much expressive capabilities as well. You are very responsible and confident. You are a leader and you lead by example. You stand out and you are shine. You are meant for the spotlight. You are very balanced in your masculine and feminine energies as well. So you are somebody who is very balanced between the labels of masculine and feminine. You are somebody who has a very balanced approach to life and a very balanced approach to your being in general. You accept both halves of yourself, and you are whole because of this. And people may not uh, really know this about you until they actually get to know you, because whatever you're doing that people see, it's in a more shallow light, and it's not as in-depth on what your life is about and who you are as a person, so people aren't seeing that as much, and when they do, it's like, whoa, where did this person come from? We have the dragon, the gazelle, and the tiger which fits exactly what I just said pretty much. It's, you have a very balanced masculine and feminine energy. You may really enjoy walking alone at night. People may not um, at first think that you are somebody who cherishes and values your alone time, but you really enjoy your alone time. You're very graceful. You have a lot of dignity, a lot of integrity. You are somebody that um, would rather walk away in peace than fight when the fight is not necessary. And you are somebody who leads by example, somebody who shines in the spotlight, somebody who's meant to be seen and heard, and somebody who has a lot of wisdom and guidance to give to other people as well. You are very instinctual too, and your instincts are always on point. You know what is going on in other people. It's like you can see through them and see to the heart of the matter. You're a very good friend. You are somebody who really enjoys balance and harmony in your, mo in, in your emotions and in your emotional dealings with others. You enjoy the moment and you love life and you enjoy partying. You're a very, very uh, stoic kind of energy a little bit and a mysterious energy a little bit. And you like to be alone a lot. But at the same time, you do enjoy getting out and having fun. You may also help people in their relationships and help them to work things out between each other as well. You're somebody who has a lot of love to give and you bring a lot of love. You express a lot of love. You are somebody who can express love like you have never been hurt before, like there are no scars in the way. And so some people also may do a double take when they realize just how much you have been through in your life. Because I feel like a lot of you have been through the ringer time and time again, and you have put up with a lot of nonsense and BS from other people. You have really uh, had to deal with a lot of childish people that have tried to drag you down into their misery and their unhappiness, maybe even into their addictions, because you may have dealt with a lot of people who have addictions as well, but you have stood your ground and stayed in your own light, and people are just like, wow, this is a very, very powerful person. People don't notice from your soft appearance and presence and your quiet attitude just how powerful you are, but you have a lot of power within you, and you will let people see it if you need to and when you need to. You are also some who can apologize when you feel like you made the wrong move or when you feel like something you did may not have been right. 
as well. And that's also why people turn around and go, wait a second, what? Because you are somebody who is humble, but you are also somebody who knows your own value and worth. So you're not just going to put up with the BS people throw your way either. And I was actually going to pick one of these messages to go with this and I completely forgot. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out of these three really quick. They were channeled messages I wrote last night. So let's see what we got. We got, and if you guys enjoy these channeled messages, more of them come out in my um, ancestors and spirit guide readings and my healing readings. So if you really enjoy my poetry or if you really enjoy these messages, check out those videos. My life. Take a day to walk in my shoes. At the end, you'll get to choose. My life sparkles and shines, but inside it, uh, it all unwinds. Hollywood seeps into home. Everyone is plastic and foam. Wanting a piece of what they can't have. Got them lying to build a salve. salve. Deceit is felt all too true. Real friends are far too few. If you wonder why I'm loyal to the core, I know this is truth. It's always been at my door. I've known very few that I can trust. Sometimes letting go is a must. My trust gone at their betrayal. A coffin lid on the door was nailed. Too much death I've had to taste. With those that aren't so very close, I proceed with much more haste. Everyone wants to be foes. I'm not here to compete. I'm just trying to stand on my feet. Maybe you should choose yours too. Then mine wouldn't. Then your mind wouldn't be so blue. At the core of, of your anger is fear. Kick your courage into gear. Wow, I butchered that, but it's because I don't have my teeth in, so it was really messing me up while I was reading that. Anyway... So people really think that you have the best life ever from the outside looking in. They really feel like you are very uh, glamorous. You have a great life. Everybody wants to be you. Everybody wants to be friends with you. You have no problems. You got a silver spoon in your hand and you're just loving life. And really on the inside of that life, you got a lot of people at your door that are knocking on it that are just fakes and phonies. People that are competing with you. People that are jealous of you. People that are trying to get into your inner circle by lying to you, by betraying you, by hurting you, by knocking you down. Instead of lifting you up and supporting you, people are constantly trying to knock you down. And if they had to walk a day in your shoes, they would realize that. And some people have spent a little more time with you and gotten a little bit closer to you. And they see those things going on around you. And they're like, wow, nothing is as what I thought it was going to be. My reality was far different than the fantasy that I made up in my head. So that's what people are seeing about you and what makes you makes them take a double take. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say say about it in the comments below whether or not it resonates what you might be going through um what you do for a living or what you do that really has you in people's vision so much i would love to hear about that i'm very interested in whatever it is that makes you so passionate and i hope you guys have a beautiful night or day whatever it is wherever you are when you're watching bye bye guys pile two what makes others do a double take about you so, um, I feel like you could possibly look like a wish come true to other people at points. Um, I feel like some people feel like all your wishes come true too, that it's very easy for you, but I don't feel like that is an actual real thing. It's just a made up thing that they have going on in their mind. And if you feel drawn to pile one, watch it. There was a little bit of that energy in that pile too. Um, People really have to do a double take because you're such a peaceful person. After a harsh situation or after a chaotic um, situation or a situation where there's been a lot of hurt or a lot of uh, things crumbling down, you are somebody who does have a humble enough attitude to come back and off, ex extend an olive branch or accept an olive branch from another. You are somebody that... Um, you forgive. You understand that people are just human and you forgive. And you also know when it's in your best interest to walk away from somebody as well. So since you forgive doesn't mean you're always going to let them back into your life. You are somebody who protects your passions and keeps them close to your chest. You really uh, work hard on those things, stably on those things, steadily on those things. You may actually even um, have a local business of some sort or you may work in a farmer's market of some sort or even at events in the area to where you sell your wares 
that you worked very creatively and passionately on, people may have to stop and take a double take and look at the things that you work on and that you put out because the things that you work on and you put out have a lot of passion involved in them. You are somebody who may be a little bit flirty, very flirty, sorry, I heard very flirty, flirty you guys are very flirty and it's not that you're necessarily trying to flirt with people or that you're wanting to go to bed with them this is just your personality you're a very fun person a very cheeky person a very positive person you really like intimate conversations and you enjoy people and um some people can take that the wrong way as well you're somebody who really gets along with a lot of people and um you are also somebody that really enjoys you may really enjoy sex too um and so people may at times really question whether or not you can be a loyal person there may be a lot of people who question whether or not you can be a loyal person you're somebody who likes to have fun and you can have fun sober or you can have fun going out and doing some other things but you can also have fun when you're sober. You don't have to cover up and numb away life in order to have fun. You are somebody who has fun in that moment. You are somebody who enjoys life. You may also be somebody who may speak to those on the other side. You may get a lot of messages from spirit. You may get a lot, you may give a lot of messages to others from people and it brings a lot of hope and optimism to them and it helps them to shift the way they are looking at life. Virgo, practical. Pisces imaginative so you may come off as somebody who is very imaginative very in the clouds um, really enjoying life fun positive happy youthful joyful passionate things like that but people really have to take a double look or a double take when they get to know you a little bit better and see that you are also very practical you are very down to earth very analytical very logical you really uh are not somebody who is just stuck in the clouds but upon first looking at you or first talking to you they may think that you're just somebody who's floating away off in the clouds you may be somebody that appears to need to be saved by the world around you and you don't really need to be saved you are just somebody that enjoys life at the same time you do have that serious responsible side to you but you don't let that side take over your life and I don't feel like you let the fun side take over your life either that's why when they get to know you a little bit more they're like oh wait a second this person's kind of a stick in the mud at times you can be a stick in the mud but it's because you have a very balanced energy of both happy youthfulness and grown adultness you are somebody who also enjoys adventures you like to get out you like to go exploring you like to do new things you uh really enjoy being able to save when you do this too and being able to do things in a way that doesn't necessarily cost a fortune you don't have to spend money to have fun but at the same time you do enjoy being able to go on adventures and get out and do things and see things and things like that so let's see what we got here we have, you believe in yourself and others and you never judge. You guide and inspire from a place of love. You are very giving and pure. You care deeply for all of life. You help others whenever you can. You are, you have a bleeding heart and that is an amazing thing in this hard, cold world. Always keep your hope and belief alive. So you're somebody who's amazing and beautiful and you really, you believe in others. And if you are drawn to pile one, you may believe in others to be able to overcome their own addictions or things like that. Um, you are somebody who really truly believes in others and you support them and nurture them and care for them You have an amazing light to share your vibration is so high You are a healer and you raise the vibrations of everyone around you keep being you you are a truly amazing being so um yeah, you're a healer, you're an amazing person, somebody who really cares about the world around you, and you really bring a lot of love and light to people. You're a very emotional being. And you know what? It could even be that you're a very logical, practical, responsible person, and when they get to know you, this emotional being comes out too. There may be some people in this pile that it's the opposite way for. You are very positive and joyful, and others may not think that it's genuine. Joke's on them, because it is. They can't get to you or bring you down because you are used to darkness being attracted to the light that you possess and you know how to handle it. So, 
Yeah, people may not think that your happy, joyful, loving nature is something that's real. Remember when you're dealing with people like that, that a lot of people are used to dealing with fakes and phonies. And by the way, pile one had a lot to do with that as well. So, you know, make sure that you are not letting, letting it affect you and your own self-esteem. Moth, raccoon, hummingbird. This is what I was just talking about. And we got the four of pentacles the four of wands and the magician so you are somebody that um can really manifest your desires you are somebody who has all the knowledge all the tools all the capability you are somebody who's very grounded determined committed somebody who has a lot of passion and drive and momentum somebody who has a lot of love emotion knowledge and wisdom and words all connected to everything that you do in your life. All of those things combined perfectly to be able to help you to create the life you desire and the stability that you need within. You have a very stable foundation within yourself and you are able to speak to people with passion, with joy, with happiness, with hope, with all of those things because of that stable foundation within yourself. You're not busy trying to control the situation or hold on too tightly. So you are not letting all of those things get in the way of you just being you. Where other people may have an issue at times with holding on too tightly or with holding back and keeping themselves boxed up because of the world around them and how you have to be a certain way to um or at least some people feel like you have to be a certain way in order for people to accept you. You don't worry about people accepting you. You just are you. And you are also somebody that it doesn't matter if other people look down on the person that you're talking to or if other people think they're a bad person or if they think they are a bad person themselves. You, you still won't hold back on that loving, beautiful energy. You give that loving, beautiful energy not to get love from other people, but to give the love. So I was going to pick one of these before this reading, and I didn't. And I'm going to go ahead and grab one now. It's the channeled messages that I wrote last night. And if you guys enjoy these channeled messages or my poetry, then you can find more of them in my message from Ancestors and Spirit Guide readings and my healing readings. And also, if you want to find more of them that are about, like, what makes you attractive or unique or different, you can type in All About You and Earth Angel 1133, and it should pop up my videos that have the hashtag of All About You in them, which is these kind of videos. So, let's see. We got, peace be with you. Take a walk by moon and sun. Try hard to find the fun. Leave behind all pain and worry. Trust me, dear, there is no hurry. Don't let yourself fall too far. Remember who you really are. All you've been through to this state, there is nothing here to hate. Reparent you by taking care. Get up and do your hair. Put on something nice to wear. Get out of the house without a care. Depression is no fun, I know. Only you have the power to let it go. And once again, if you're attracted to pile one by sun and moon, reminded me of the card that came out in pile one. So yeah, it's time to take care of you. It's time to really love yourself if you haven't been and if you've kind of been in a funk lately. And I feel like other people see this about you, that you take care of yourself because it makes you feel better. And in feeling better, you are able to give them a much more beautiful version of yourself. And I feel like they take that as an inspiration to do those things in their life as well. They really look up to you and they really aspire to be able to take care of themselves better so that they can feel better about the world around them as well. And so they can leave such a good impact on it too, like you do. So that's I have for that pile. If you guys enjoyed this reading, I would love to hear what you thought about it, what you might be going through, um, how this resonates with you. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye bye, guys. Pile three. So, for pile three, let's see what you guys, why people have to do a double take when they look at you. So, we got this rainbow and this little guy here. This little guy has been through so damn much. And you know what? He looks like it. I don't even know what happened to him other than being in my charm bag. <coughs> and I think he absorbed some soot this last year. Um, it doesn't matter what you've been through. You have a smile on your face and you are confident that at the end of the day, after every storm, there will be this rainbow. You have a lot of faith. You have a lot of faith. You have a lot of um, beauty about you too. And you are somebody who shines your true colors. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks. You shine your true colors. You are not somebody who has to worry about coming out of the closet because you are all here. You are all here, and I feel like some people may not see that as the real you, and they think there's more to find out, but really, you are just you. You are this beautiful caterpillar who um, 
you were this beautiful caterpillar in the past who had to go through all of these different things to gain your stability, to gain your strength, to gain your, um, I feel like there's a lot of people from your childhood who have to do a double take because you used to be this caterpillar or even just your past a couple years ago, maybe even six months ago, you used to be this caterpillar. Now you're this butterfly and it's like you pop out of there with so much color. Every single time you do this and have these changes, you get a little bit more strong and a little bit more solid in yourself and of yourself. And you are somebody who has really worked very hard at this. You are somebody very rare. We got the blue moon established in 1995, Colorado. Cherry Frosty since 1939, Limeade. You may have been in a very cold energy at one point in time, and um, a lot of that was because of the pain and hurt and hardship you went through. And you had to pull away from people. You had to go find your isolation and your healing. It is okay to isolate from people sometimes because that's where we go inside ourselves and we really be able to sort things out. And so you have been able to do that and you have popped back out time and again as a completely transformed individual. You are somebody that really um, has been very frosty or cold at points in the past. And I feel like even at times still you kind of are perceived that way. But it's not because you are actually cold. It's because you're very warm. And in order to keep this energy going, you have to make sure to take care of yourself too and your needs. And you can't do that if you're constantly at the beck and call of everybody around you. You are somebody who brings a lot of hope and inspiration to others. You are somebody who helps others to be able to express themselves more fully. To feel confident in doing that and to not care what anybody else thinks about it. You are somebody who believes in being your authentic authentic self and you believe in encouraging others to do the same. You believe that through being your confident, authentic self, that's where you find your true happiness. You may also be somebody who um, has had to go through the dark night of the soul to have this spiritual awakening. You may have been somebody, you may have been in like a very toxic relationship for a long time. Somebody who really made you squash everything you were and didn't allow you breathing room to just be you because they had to have the attention on them all the time. And if the attention was on you at all, it felt like they felt like it took away from them. But at the same time, you allowed this to happen and you know that. You gave your power away to people and you know that. And you um, reconciled yourself to this fact already. You forgave that person. You forgave yourself. And you transformed and turned everything around in your life. We got Libra, Charming, and Capricorn, Ambitious. You are somebody who's very um, charming, very ambitious, very goal-oriented, very balanced, very just in your dealings. You may be somebody who may be a very hard worker and at sometimes you may fall into a little bit of workaholicness. And you always find your balance again though. And every situation that you face, you look at as a situation where you can learn from it, you can grow from it, and you try not to take any grudges with you. And people find that really hard to believe because that's hard to find in this world. Somebody who is healed enough that they don't allow everything else to affect them to the point that they become a victim or a martyr in a situation. And you may have even became that for a little bit of time, but you also pop back out of it. But either way, people really have to do a double take because you are somebody very, very, very rare in this world. And it's like, whoa, where did this person come from? Because I have never met anybody like this before in my life. This person is med meant for greatness. This person is meant to be seen. This person is meant to be heard. This person's meant to be a leader and they are meant to have people following them towards this light and this happiness and this promised land. So anyway, you always know what's up. No one ever fools you. Even if you play along at times in the end, you knew and you were working to expose the fake. You are so real and I could never hope to love myself enough to remove this mask. So you may deal with a lot of people who have a hard time covering them up and um, keeping themselves concealed. And you may have even exposed a lot of the things that they kept hidden from the world, which you know what? Sometimes you may even think was very harsh or hurtful of you, but this person needed to be able to face those things. It was a trigger and a tower moment that they had to face. And now they get to decide whether or not they want to go back to living the lie or if they want to actually follow their truth. Likes travel and adventure, makes everything seem fun and new, always ready to try new things, playful and fun, excitement is always to be had with you around. So, pile one and two may be something that interests you. There may be some people who watch this pile who end up watching all three. Anyway, if not, not, but if so, there's your confirmation of it. 
you are somebody who really enjoys travel, you enjoy adventure, you really like new things, you like to open up to new experiences experiences, cultures, people, places. You enjoy learning about the world and everything in it. And you don't let judgments or preconceived notions hold you back from going after <gasps> after these things. You are a hard worker and you are very good at breaking the chains and overcoming toxic situations. <clears throat> your positive positivity is overflowing, especially when you are working on your passions. When you sing, no one can look away. It's like heaven opened up and a choir of angels was heard. So are you, you are somebody who has a very beautiful singing voice as well. Somebody that really... Uh, I feel like your voice is very healing to others. Your singing is very healing to others. And you really bring a lot of beauty to this world through it. I was going to pick one of these for each pile. You know what? I kind of want to do both of these. There was two left. And I forgot about picking one. So I picked them during the reading. And I'm going to go ahead and do the last two that are left for you guys. <clears throat> and if you guys enjoy my poetry or my channeled messages like this a lot more of them are in my ancestor messages and my spirit guide messages as well as my healing messages so go check those out if you enjoy these and they really resonate with you only up from here all the ups and downs in life all the chaos all the strife it doesn't matter what comes my way my stability is here to stay no longer worried about it all my sanity makes the call hard fought for and won I live my life in the sun even on a cloudy day even when nothing goes my way negativity takes a back seat I won't ever miss a beat Positivity is the new lead, far more to reap from this seed. So yeah, you have turned everything around and you have become a very positive, joyful, happy person. And you may not have started that way. You may have been very depressed or hurt or it just in situations that were very toxic for you and it was draining the life for you. But when it's toxic for you, it's toxic for both parties. And I feel like you are somebody who knows that as well. And so you left a situation and I feel like this person might, want, might have wanted to continue the situation and there may have been a lot going on because of that. And you loved this person immensely and felt really bad about and felt really bad about walking away but you had to walk away in this situation because that was what was right to do for both of you and not just you blessed what what future blessings are coming my way right now it's really hard to say extending love extending light always here to fight the good fight right now my life seems stuck in the mud dirty hands and face life covered in blood but just around the corner you'll see a whole new side of me no more worries no more cares no more silly people's airs lessons learned on in moving on all my fears are gone faith replaces anxiety's call i will have it all i'm glad i read both of those because they really resonated with each other and you are doing amazing. You should be very proud of yourself. People have to do a double take with you because you are a completely different person than the one they met even yesterday. So we have the sea serpent, the nightingale, and the spider. You have worked hard to break the chains, to come out of your fear, to come out of your anxiety, to express yourself more, and to just be you. And once again, with the singing voice, your singing is very powerful. It's very healing for others, and it really does help in... I feel like you had to overcome a lot to even be able to sing around others, especially if you were with a person that made you feel like your singing voice wasn't good or like there was nothing to be loved about it or about you. And I feel like you have overcome a lot to be able to put yourself out there in whatever situation it happens to be or in whatever it is that you do. We have the Three of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. So you're somebody who has been able to leave behind the fear, the heartbreak, the anxiety, the pain, the sleepless nights, things like that in favor of believing in a positive, beautiful future and that after everything that happened, new good things are going to come. You have been able to really focus on your faith and trust that everything happens for a reason and at the end of the storm, there's always a rainbow that comes back out and you are really passionately moving forward and you're moving very quickly. You have a lot of different ways of seeing things and you had a lot of um, tower moments that have happened in your life that have really brought you an awakeness and an awareness to what was going on and what was taking place that was causing these things to happen in your life and you have shifted your point of view and your perspective so much that you are moving forward at a very rapid pace and people really have to look like whoa what is going on with this person how did they do this but if they want to know I feel like for some of you they're gonna have to come pay you to find out anyway 
So that's what makes people have to do a double take with you is that you are so different from who you used to be and that you were able to overcome anything that came your way even though there were so many different things that you had to overcome. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you had to say about it in the comments below, whether or not it resonated, what you might be going through, what you may have had to face on this hard journey that you've gone through, and some of the perspectives that you have come to and the understandings that you have come to that have helped you find your way out of it. Because I'm sure it would help other people to be able to hear those things as well. And I really hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.